Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are live from my bathroom. Very exciting. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how exactly I like to style my hair in order to avoid shrinkage. It's like probably curly girl problem number one. Everybody experiences it, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of pointers and tips and tricks, little things that you can do in order to avoid it as much as possible. Before we get started, please go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out. And also, you'll be able to be notified every single time a new video drops, which is awesome. All right, let's get started. Actually, wait, I lied. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that it's really important not to obsess over shrinkage. And I know shrinkage is the entire point of this video, but as my little humble advice to you is to just don't obsess over it. I always like to say health over length. You should be more focused on the health of your curls than the length of your curls. With that being said, Every curly girl experiences shrinkage. Everybody struggles with it. It's annoying, it happens, and there are certain techniques and different types of products that you can use in order to avoid it. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys here today. I just wanted to start by saying, first and foremost, let's not obsess over shrinkage. Okay? All right. So now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair, split it into two halves, and be back so we can get started. All right, so I'm freshly washed and I just have one side of my hair down. So on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and style how I would normally style my hair for some insane curl definition. So the products that I'm gonna be using are the Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner by Care Care and the Afrosheen Texture Flexing Foam. So as I normally would, I'm just going ahead and separating my hair out into very small sections, applying the products, and then going through with a Denman brush. In order to get the most amount of curl definition, and because I'm using a Denman brush, I'm using very, very small sections. All right, so we're all done. I'm just gonna leave this for now. So for the second side, we are now going to try and avoid shrinkage as much as possible. So firstly, for this side, we are not going to use any styling tools. I am just gonna go in with my fingers and rake all the products through instead of using a Denman brush. This Denman brush, as you can see, really gets the curls defined, but because it's so extra defined, it really encourages the curl to kind of shrink up, and that's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm not gonna use a Denman brush, just gonna use my fingers. I'm also gonna use different products than I used on this side. So I am gonna be mainly going in with the Afrosheen Crown Defining Curl Cream. So when you're looking to avoid shrinkage, you're gonna wanna stay away from your gels and instead use a curl cream. And then for a little bit of extra hold, I'm just gonna use the mousse, the same mousse that we use on this side, um, but at the very end. So I'm not gonna continue to apply the mousse in each little small section. I'm just gonna use it in one use at the very end and just gonna kind of pat it on overall to give us a little bit of hold, but not like extra hold, you know what I'm saying? I'm also gonna work in larger sections, so I'm only gonna split this half into two sections instead of like, I don't know, four to five like I did in this one. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna part this in half. Alright, so both sides have now been styled. You can kind of already tell a little bit of a difference. Like this side is a lot more defined and this side is not. <laughs> um, in terms of the length, not really a huge difference right now, but we'll see how it looks when we start to dry. So now I'm gonna grab a diffuser. Now the way that I diffuse is gonna also be different for both sides. So first on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse as usual. This is the Dyson hair dryer with the diffuser attachment. It is bougie, it is expensive, but I absolutely love it. And I'm using this on the lowest heat setting. All right, so I'm finished diffusing this side. As you can see, it's not 100% dry, but it has stopped dripping and that's usually how I do it. Just diffuse until it stops dripping and then air dry the rest of the way. Now for this side, I'm gonna diffuse slightly differently. So instead of bringing the diffuser up like this, I'm gonna use one hand and kind of stretch my curls out and then put the diffuser on top and aim to dry it that way. 
So stretching your curls while it's drying is definitely a great method to avoid shrinkage because you're literally stretching them out and encouraging it to dry while they're stretched. I am still using the same settings on the dryer. All right, so this is how we are looking so far. Right now already this side is a little bit longer than the other side and I know it's gonna continue to shrink a little bit as it continues to dry. You can also notice that there's a little bit less curl definition. Like curl definition is still there, but it's not this. You see what I mean? Like there's curl definition, but it's a lot poofier, it's bigger, and it appears to be a little bit longer. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm preferring the shrunk side just because I love me some curl definition, but y'all know we gotta wait until it dries before we make a final decision. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let my hair continue to air dry and then I'll meet you guys back in the studio for my final results. All right, and I'm back and there is a massive difference between the two sides of my head. This is wild. Let's get a little close-up action. Here is a close-up of the defined side, and here is a close-up of the non-shrink side. I mean, honestly, both sides are pretty cute, but I still think that I would have to say my preference lies with my definition. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? I feel like that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Like if you're all about shrinkage, you gotta choose, one's gotta go. You can't have all the curl definition and no shrinkage. Like you, you gotta choose which one. And to me, I just, I personally prefer my curl definition. As for the non-shrink side, it's not bad. Like the curl definition is still there, but obviously it's a lot more poofy. It's out there. It's, you know, definitely not gonna last as long as the defined side because we didn't put as much hold product in there. Um, it's bigger, it's got more volume, and it definitely dried a lot quicker than the other side. Even though I do prefer this side, I don't think this side looks bad. I mean, I actually think it looks really cute. I love the amount of volume that we got, especially like the length, like it's cute. Like I look like, woo, she got long hair, you know what I mean? Isn't it crazy though how like styling techniques can make such a huge difference in your hair? So like just by doing those simple changes, so not using a Denman brush, using my fingers instead, and then using the curl cream, and then in the way that we diffuse, like those three things are what really made this huge difference. And the difference is drastic, like I'm gonna walk around looking crazy. This is one of my favorite things about wash and goes though. Like it really depends on what you use and how you use it. That really determines how your wash and go comes out. So that's basically it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and comment below and let me know which side is your favorite. And if you have any other techniques that you like to do in order to avoid shrinkage, then go ahead and comment that below as well. If you did enjoy this, please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, please go ahead and do so now. We really have some fun over here, so you won't regret it. And while you're doing that, two more videos to check out while you're here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.